welcome to my video so my name is Fiona but you can call me Fi and in today's video I want to make casserole chicken a full chicken and these are my ingredients um, two and a half onions a few cloves of garlic with rosemary two and a half tomatoes a few potatoes uh, a few of my spices this is curry powder and uh, we choose a mix from we need a bit of pila masala, <laughs> believe it or not, um, some cayenne and salt, a bit of salt. So let's get to this. heated at 100 and almost 80 degrees Celsius and it's been on for about 15 minutes so I put the chicken in and uh, to get a roasting the accompaniment for my casserole chicken is Moya Pichori rice I've washed this three times so this the rice looks milky but it's not chafu it's not dirty so that's rice then I have my raisins here these are raisins guys this is what I'm using it says mixed dried fruits but eh. I call them raisins <laughs> and uh, coconut coconut shreds very generous with my shreds so I'll bring this to the boil I don't add any any oil they will just boil together and make sweet love together in this cooking pot hashtag superia
so this is the morning after my sister's birthday if you watch my uh sister's birthday birthday vlog i will link it up above uh you remember that we arrived home at around 8 almost 8 30 pm we were so exhausted we had eaten dinner we had just come from a, 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 an amazing um outing <laughs> uh, for lack of a, for lack of a better word we had come from a children's home we spent like three hours with them and it was an amazing time it was fantastic we were able to take for them a couple of foodstuffs um <clears throat> legumes and rice and uh, yeah we had an amazing fellowship together we met the directors and we we we, we we had a good time with them. So this is the morning after and I want to just tell you how the night went. <laughs> so uh, after arriving at 8.40 p.m. we were so tired and we just slept. No, we didn't sleep actually, we didn't sleep. Oops, scratch that we did not sleep because we were hungry. We had to cook. So I was the, the designated cook slash chef of the night. So, uh, I went to the uh, of course i had to change my clothes into my home clothes went to the kitchen began to prepare the tomatoes the onions the garlic everything had to set up my camera my tripod so all that took almost an hour so i, I officially put the entire dish into the oven at 9 40 pm little did i know that this entire situation would last a whole two hours guys we were famished so anyway uh, this this is this is the collection i would make to the chicken that you have just seen as you've noticed my chicken did not have an aluminium foil which was a mistake because anything that goes into the oven any meat that goes into the oven should be covered by aluminium aluminium foil so prior to cooking, I looked around the house and I noticed that I realized that there was no aluminum foil. Although I thought that we had, but we didn't. But I was like, you know what? This is the easiest way to, the easiest and the fastest way to cook. Because I was so tired, I didn't want to stand in the kitchen for too long. So the easiest and the fastest way to cook is to put everything in a casserole dish or on the oven pan and they cook together. Right? So... I, I did not have a casserole. I, I mean, I did not have an alum, aluminium foil, and that is what is was critical in my cooking. Aluminium foil makes sure that the heat is trapped inside the casserole dish, and everything cooks out evenly. So that is why my dish took a little bit longer than I expected it to. The second um, correction that I will make in my next meal, in my next casserole chicken casserole dish is that um, the first one hour of my cooking guys I'm reading notes here <laughs> I, wrote, I wrote down notes <laughs> the first cook, the first one hour of my cooking of the casserole dish took I, I cooked I cooked it at 180 degrees Celsius then I was like ah this is taking too long we are too hungry this is already 10 40 p.m. so I went to the kitchen um, it heated up the oven to 230 degrees Celsius. But then 10 minutes into the cooking, the chicken was starting to burn. So I let it stay for another just another five minutes. Then I took down the heat to 200 degrees degrees Celsius where it cooked for another 45 minutes. So what I realized is the happy medium of cooking uh casserole chicken is 200 degree 200 degrees Celsius. Um when it's covered by aluminium foil and the next thing i will try in in my chicken casserole <laughs> guys cooking is all about experimenting Eish, you learn you learn as you go right then um i forgot to score the chicken you see the, how that whole chicken i just put it up on the casserole dish without cutting it in, slicing into the flesh i should have sliced the flesh with a sharp knife so that the heat can penetrate right straight into the into the meat down into the bone so uh when you're baking chicken you should slice slice deep into the 
the thighs, the drumstick, the breast, and on either side, so that the chicken can can um, can can eva can cook right in, in, into its innards. And then, uh, yes, lastly, you, you, you remember you saw how I, 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 when I was massaging the oils and the and the spices inside the chicken, I took out the chicken and then I let the waters above the chicken go under it. So, for the chicken, for the, the other ingredients to cook mwah, deliciously, let the chicken rest above all other ingredients so that its juices, all its juices can flow right into the potatoes, the onions, the, the tomatoes, the garlic and in anything else you choose to put inside the casserole dish, right? And then lastly, please don't put water as you bake your chicken in the casserole dish or even in the pan, in the, um, in the oven pan, don't put water because ch the chicken, as you know, has a lot of its own natural um, juices which which begin to simmer as the chicken begins to cook. They usually chicken usually has naturally has a lot of water. So do not add water as you're baking or roasting chicken inside the oven. But if you do and it works for you then okay. Great. So um, if you want to try out other recipes you can you can use other spices you can use other things to marry into the, into the chicken. You can use other vegetables. You can add um, pili pili hoho, hashtag capsicum. You can add um, coriander as well. You can add other herbs like basil, um, thyme, oregano, anything. Whatever you want to put in your chicken, you can add more chili. You can add more garlic, you can add more onions, more tomatoes, whatever that you desire, feel free. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a rather long video, but forgive me. I just had to clarify that because I don't want to mislead anybody to think that the cooking went perfectly because it didn't. It took two hours of experimenting, of heating up the oven, of cooling down the oven of uh of getting tired getting hungry in the process <laughs> getting frustrated in the process so eventually guys we ate we ate at the the, the food cooked at level 40 and we, we were eating at around 50. <sighs> we were eating on the 14th of april 2023 instead of eating her birthday dinner on the 13th but you know what it's all good Point is, we were fed, we were happy, it was delicious. I got praises for my chicken, and uh, yeah, so the fact I've, I've woken up uh, happy and fulfilled that my chicken was a hit, that my sister was happy. In fact, her favorite meal is chicken and rice, so I made sure to cook her chicken, and uh, the, the rice, so the rice had a lot, a bit of personality. I added raisins and a mixed fruit and coconut shreds, even that was a hit. And then I boiled some carrots, as you have seen in the video, <laughs> right? Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Please feel free to subscribe, watch all other videos in this channel. Uh, give it a thumbs up, share, like, subscribe, comment to me how you like your chicken. Do you eat chicken? What should I have done better or differently in my, in my cooking, in my, in my baking? Yeah, guys, we are here to learn, so let's teach each other.